duality, an essential subject from Panipedia as long as one adheres to the philosophy of duality, thinking one person a friend and another an enemy, he should be understood to be in the clutches of MY. The MYVD philosopher who thinks that all living entities are God and are therefore one is also mistaken. No one is equal to God. The servant cannot be equal to the master. According to the Vyaba philosophy, the master is one, and the servants are also one, but the distinction between the master and servant must continue even in the liberated stage. In the conditioned stage we think that some living beings are our friends whereas others are enemies, and thus we are in duality. We should therefore raise our intelligence to the understanding that we are all parts and parcels of the Lord. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vani Coates duality category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following ten quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books A candidate for spiritual advancement must be non-violent, must follow in the footsteps of great Sirius, must always remember the nectar of the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, must follow the regulative principles without material desire and, while following the regulative principles, should not blaspheme others. A devotee should lead a very simple life and not be disturbed by the duality of opposing elements. He should learn to tolerate them. Our Mad BH Gavadam 4.22.24 A devotee is neutral in all conditions of life, whether in the heavenly planets or hellish planets, whether liberated from the material world or conditioned by it, and whether blessed with happiness or subjected to distress. These are all merely dualities created by the external energy. Being influenced by the external energy, the living entity accepts a gross and subtle material body, and in this illusory position he apparently suffers miseries, although everyone is part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. Our Mad BH Gavadam 6.17 Summary 1 Whose mind, intelligence, faith and refuge are always in Krishna, or, in other words, one who is fully in Krishna consciousness is undoubtedly washed clean of all misgivings and is in perfect knowledge in everything concerning transcendence. A Krishna conscious person can thoroughly understand that there is duality, simultaneous identity and individuality, in Krishna, and, equipped with such transcendental knowledge, one can make steady progress on the path of liberation. Bhagavad GT 5.17 In the BH Gavadam, the cause of anxiety over the result of an activity is explained as being one's functioning in the conception of duality, that is, without knowledge of the Absolute Truth. Krishna is the Supreme Absolute Truth, the Personality of Godhead. In Krishna consciousness, there is no duality. All that exists is a product of Krishna's energy, and Krishna is all good. Therefore, activities in Krishna consciousness are on the Absolute Plane. They are transcendental and have no material effect. Bhagavad GT 5.12 In the dual world everyone is falsely trying to become the master of the world, whereas in the absolute world the Lord is the absolute Lord, and all others are his absolute servitors. In the world of duality everyone is envious of all others, and death is inevitable due to the dual existence of matter and spirit. The Lord is the only shelter of frillessness for the surrendered soul. One cannot save himself from the cruel hands of death in the material world without having surrendered himself at the lotus feet of the Lord. Our Mad BH Gavadam 1.89. The Supreme Truth is self-sufficient, cognizant and free from the illusion of relativity. In the relative world the knower is different from the known, but in the Absolute Truth both the knower and the known are one and the same thing. In the relative world the knower is the living spirit or superior energy, whereas the known is inert matter or inferior energy. Therefore, there is a duality of inferior and superior energy, whereas in the absolute realm both the knower and the known are of the same superior energy. Our Mad BH Gavadam 1.2.11 In the world of duality that is to say, in the material world so-called goodness and badness are both the same. Therefore, in this world, to distinguish between good and bad, happiness and distress is meaningless because they are both mental concoctions, manadharma. Because everything here is miserable and troublesome, to create an artificial situation and pretend it to be full of happiness is simply illusion. The liberated person, being above the influence of the three modes of material nature, is unaffected by such dualities in all circumstances. Our Mad BH Gavadam 19.13 
27. The world of duality is composed of matter and spirit, whereas the absolute world is complete spirit without any tinge of the material qualities. In the dual world everyone is falsely trying to become the master of the world, whereas in the absolute world the Lord is the absolute Lord, and all others are his absolute servitors. In the world of duality everyone is envious of all others, and death is inevitable due to the dual existence of matter and spirit. The Lord is the only shelter of frillessness for the surrendered soul. R. Mad B. H. Gavatam 1.8 9. As long as the material body exists, there are actions and reactions in the material modes. One has to learn tolerance in the face of duality such as happiness and distress or cold and warmth, and by tolerating such dualities become free from anxieties regarding gain and loss. This transcendental position is achieved in full Krishna consciousness when one is fully dependent on the goodwill of Krishna. Bhagavad GT 2.45 Persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life and whose sinful actions are completely eradicated are freed from the duality of delusion, and they engage themselves in my service with determination. A person who is already cleansed of all tinges of sinful life engages without deviation or duality of purpose in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. In this age, although people are greatly sinful, simply chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra can relieve them from the reactions of their sins. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, DLL 8.26